Keep it firm and let it build up. Very nice. You hit the mic that first time every time. You're well away. Very nice. Very nice. And thus, the cycle of preparation, motivation and hope between two people continues. I don't think anybody's too happy with it, really. It's um, a bit too hard for the level of the competitors. And uh, I think probably 80 miles would have been enough, really, on this course, instead of the 114 that we have to do. I don't think really many will be finishing. Not a lot as yet. Um, I think 17 times on the day will be... Uh, Enough, really. We've only been around about six times as yet. For the descent, that's the most tricky. That's got about three um, rather acute bends in it, especially the last one, when we'll probably be doing about 50 miles an hour when we hit it, so we'll have to treat that fairly cautiously. There is just over three minutes to start time. Three minutes to start time. And so to the last day, a day when inquiry must cease, when the essence of the activity must be shown. It's above all a public performance, a ritual for the benefit of the spectators, a matter of numbers, of money, of credit and debit. The actor, a name, a number, a country at the mercy of those who come to be entertained. Obviously, the Australians have gone off quite strong, determined to get rid of the, the lesser ride, just to clear the, the road sort of thing. There's two Englishmen up there with them. And then this means, of course, they're in the back bunch. No English or no Australians are going to work to bring that group back. The Kiwis only have one in the leading break. So obviously, they've got to decide whether they're happy with that one against three Australians and two English, or whether they want their three men still back in the main bunch to work and try and close the gap again.
race is forming a pattern. We've got the uh, Australian in the lead who won the silver at Munich. Uh, the rider behind him is a young strong bike rider, another Australian chasing him at three minutes. Um, back about another minute, minute and a half, we've got the, another very good Australian bike rider in that group. And uh, possibly, if not our best, our second best bike rider, uh, the Australian road champion, is back about six minutes, but he still hasn't done anything in the race yet. He's very fresh and uh, wouldn't surprise me if he makes a move, you know, about two or three laps time to get to the lead. Some of them have never seen hills like that. They've never ridden in hills. And it's just far too hard for them. I noticed the first time we were up on a the descent, there was none of the, the, the African countries there. I think they were all off the back. And uh, to, to ground 17 times is just, just boring. It's, it's, the organizers are treating us like machines, they're not treating us like human beings.
The activities are over. The ritual farewell begins. something snaps. The athletes rebel. The giant happening takes place. could be said that something happened at Christchurch. Not anything as newsworthy as a hijacking or a guerrilla attack, but something more important and indefinable. A sharing, a meeting, a sense of community. You can't have everything. <laughs> it's only a dog. 